goods issue and 201t right yes goods yes, issue yes. by pipeline that is right uh, then check it okay everything is okay where quantity material okay quantity i'll say how many how much quantity you are trying to uh, consume here 8000 1000 consider 1000 yeah okay 1000 is the consumption for this and uh, then i'll check it so it is asking for the cost center do you have a cost center for this particular yes uh, cost center okay just give me that cost center yeah, yeah i am uh, just type yeah, yeah, yeah. okay underscore cost okay underscore cost okay that's it yeah it's asking for the plant which plant you are referring to consume yeah rpl yeah rpl yeah, RPL. okay check it so now see this is the error you are getting right yes okay. yes Copy this. I'll go to Notepad. And OBU, I see already you did some setting, but it is not working. That I will yes, see yes. now. Yes, okay. So this is three thousand two is the violation class okay. of the material. And this INT is chart of account. Chart of account. Then GBB is offset entry. Offset entry. And then G0, G0, 0001 is uh, validation grouping code. And VBR is general modifier. Okay, so I'll explain this. This is uh, for everyone. Uh, this is a little confused, a uh, little com 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 complicated uh, knowledge. Uh, okay, uh, the experience okay. when it comes to VBR, triple zero one, GBB, uh, all these are something uh, different compared to the general uh, account posting. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go to uh, OBIC. And I'll search uh, from the uh, GBB perspective. Okay, GBB is the transaction event key, as you all know. I'll go okay. to GBB. So GBB, you can see uh, here, offset entry for inventory posting. When I double click on this, it is asking for the chart of account. I'm entering the chart of account, INT. And here you should search uh, that combination. VBR, VBR. one GBB, okay. What I'll do is, so general modification is VBR. Okay. And uh, valuation uh, class is uh, 3002. 3, and valuation uh, modification is uh, 0001. 0001. Okay. These three are the combination. Okay. So you have 0001 VBR, 3003 and this account. But I don't okay. see 3002. What I should do is I will copy this. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. I'll go back. Position, PBR, this. Okay, 3002 only, right? Okay, evaluation class. So this I'm going to copy here, copy. And I'm going to change this to 3002. I don't know whether this account is for the consumption of that pipeline. If it is not in real time, you have to maintain the general ledger account for this part, particular combination with the valuation modification triple zero one okay. and the general modifier as VBR and valuation class 3002. And you want to hit separately some GL account, then you can create a GL account with the help of FICO consultant. Okay. Okay. okay now I'm just saving it here. Save this. Now I'll uh, go back to this uh, MyGo screen. MyGo. Good issue. Everything is good. I'll put the material number, quantity thousand, and where I'll put the plant. Enter. System will understand the account assignment is mandatory. Enter the cost center. Then check it. 
our item is okay then now post it the system understood okay. this is the combination and material document got generated okay now i'll show you the sorry i'll just copy here paste it here okay now i'll display okay here only i'll display immediately display and you i'll show you the accounting document fi document consumption is done right 201p and here you can see gbb is the account transaction key double one double zero double zero is the account which is maintained in the background okay, okay. here we maintain triple zero one vpr with triple zero two three triple zero two this is the account okay if you try adding the uh, other account also to see how that system will uh, fetch that uh, account if you maintain this account with triple three triple zero two here then this okay. jail account will pick up now this jail account pick up picked up here okay. see here checking yeah. account and this is how it is uh, looking at one six double nine double zero this is account payable for the uh, company code company with the code. vendor okay. okay if i go back and uh, see your partner so your partner is pipl kol open i open this vendor okay if i go to accounting info enter i'll select all sorry i'll select all i'll enter and i'll go and see show you how where from where exactly that account number will pick up for the vendor master okay so in the accounting view there is a reconciliation account is there one six double zero double zero but for this particular uh, vendor master it is pipeline okay there is a ko and document will be uh, uh, and entered right it is a consumption from directly you are not referring any uh, vendor master or a purchase order right directly you are going to uh, 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 issue the uh, goods right i'll show that display accounting document you see this this is the uh, plus and minus 91 and 81 okay if you see here what is this posting key one and two okay if i go back here okay so here there is one posting key i just click on here click on posting key see can you see okay. here De debit 81 is debit and 91 okay. is debit. credit okay see this is uh, debit means that also i'll show you with the si signature sign one second there is a field credit and debit uh, okay you can see here quantity kg 1000 kg i'll just put this field this side i can change the layout also i'll put okay. here okay example uh, in this layout i will show you the layout choose layout i don't want to see every field okay so change layout so there are many fields are there what i'll do is i'll select all i'll move to this line okay from here i'll choose here uh, whatever items i want Posting key, special GL indicator, account, amount, currency, tax code, cost center, order number, profit center, GL account, then transaction, then amount in local currency, what else I want, debit and credit indicator, okay, account type. Then what else I want? Plant, purchasing document, anything is there. Purchasing item. Then okay, other all fields are not that much important to view. Okay, vendor means I would have done transaction type. I'll check any vendor is there. Uh, partner. Business partner, it is there. I'll just business partner. Then what else? 
quantity material i'll search here uh, vendor it is the vendor is not there okay some other field name will be there for the vendor okay let's save this uh, layout okay i'll show you the layout second layout okay save as here if i save as layout so this is default means across globally this layout will be fixed but now okay. i just want it for uh, gopi what i'll do is i'll do layout name is z gopi and i'll say this layout is for your uh, user specific okay layout okay user specific i'll make it means whenever you log in only this uh, layout will be available not for everyone okay. you are not going to disturb the uh, entire global layout you can see that there are multiple layouts are there i'm saving mm -hmm. this Okay, so it is saying user specific layout must start with the letter A or Z. Okay, you cannot use slash. I'll use Z copy. Okay, so now it is saved. Layout got saved. Close. Okay, now see this company code is coming here first, then item, then posting key. Okay, then uh, special indicator something is there. GL account, amount, currency, tax code, cost center. We entered AMI cost as a cost center. Profit yes. center is there, 1000. GL account is coming here. And transaction event key. K KON is for always vendor and it is for the offset. Because we are doing offset. We are not referring any purchase order. We are just yes. issuing other. Other means always G GBB will come into picture. And what is the cost? If it is any different currency are there, cost. I was talking about this only, this debit and credit. Okay, S means if you don't get confused, always come here. Yes is mm -hmm. debit, okay debit okay. plus is there and credit credit minus is there minus okay this much is pending to pay to the vendor and you have to clear this amount to the vendor okay now you did a goods issue okay and plant you can see and account type is there you can see what is account type also it is yes yes means what it is gl account GL. there are different accounts are there material account vendor account as i told right if it is k you just observe if it is account type K, then this GL account will show as a reconciliation account in the vendor master. Okay. Whenever you yeah. uh, do a, a vendor consignment process, right? When you receive the goods for vendor consignment, then mm -hmm. you can see the this number will be fetching from the vendor master and you can see the account type will be always K, yeah. not S. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you now for every posting, okay, this is your layout. You come and see this transaction key, GL account, FO amount, uh, and debit and credit account type. You just come and see this is the layout is saved for you. Material okay. quantity. If you want to put this material and quantity, this uh, initially you can drag like this. Example, okay. right? I want to put here like this. I can put. I can put here like and I can I can I can scroll and I can adjust. If I want, I want to hide this, I don't want this. I can hide this. Okay. I can hide some of the fields which is not even required, which is blank. Or I can remove or I can hide. See, now I can see only this much of entries are available and tax is not that you can hide tax also. Okay, these fields are available for you. Okay, you can uh, see very clearly all the entries. Okay, okay. so okay. if I go and sh uh, show here, uh, change layout, right? Uh, you okay. can change. If you want to choose layout, you can choose layout here also by going with the choose layout here you can see g z go p this is your layout okay. if i choose other layout it will take other layout details and here if you want to extract to excel and then you can extract to spreadsheet okay, okay i want to get into excel sheet select like this into 10 excel click on this the data whichever uh, is there in this system you can extract and you can review also example i'll export to desktop okay save it Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Open. Yeah. So this here you can see the whatever uh, the data in the uh, SAP got exported to the Excel sheet. 
from here you can do analysis if you have multiple uh, that uh, posting you want to see and all right so oh. you can ex extract and you can uh, see the difference you can calculate you can see the cost and all you can put you can you can play with excel sheet okay, okay. so i hope this is clear for you and uh, darshan yes, yes. uh, you have some questions then uh, you you can share your screen and you can show it and i will give a solution for that no question it's clear i don't have any doubts okay you had you wanted to see this uh, particular yeah yeah that's why i want to see i just simply sitting so that's why i joined okay okay that's great okay okay fine then uh, everything is clear means i'll close this uh, meeting and uh, if uh, no issues means uh, i will share this knowledge with the social media okay so that can be referred with, uh, this can be useful for many aspirants okay thank okay. you thank you yeah. thank you prashant thank you so much bye good evening no problem bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.